So the biggest news coming out of No Mercy page. I tried to hold it back a day and I was like, okay, maybe something new will come out about it. I'll be like, you know, the first one. Uh-uh. Kind of just the same stuff. So if you didn't know before, let me just break it all down to you. So Paige was originally suspended a while back for 30 days, for violating the wellness policy of not turning stuff in on time. But before that, she was out hurt, so you kind of didn't see her for like a really long time. And then her suspension was up about like a couple weeks ago, but then she still had to stay out because of injury. She might have to get surgery. So she got painkillers prescribed to her, and the WB said, ah ah, we gonna suspend you one more time, 60 days. See you later. Yeah, it's all just like, okay. Hi. Okay. One, one thing. She's still hurt. Pretty sure that suspension would end before she was gonna come back anyway. Like, we're talking about two months? Since so she was gonna have to have surgery, they probably would've, you know, pushed her back from coming back anytime soon. So, it's kinda like, did you really need to? Do the wrestlers get like a list of things that's put on a wellness policy? Cause I'm just not sure. I mean, I don't work for WWE. You guys probably don't work for WWE. And you work for WWE and you're watching this. You have too much spare time on your hands. You probably need a promotion. But do they get like a list of stuff that says you can't take this, 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 and painkillers? Cause the whole issue about Paige is like, you put your name on the contract. You know that you're subjected to take these tests. Your next hurt, it's, it's all confusing. It's really just confusing. I don't know what side I'm on. Is it WWE because you know, it was set before she even signed with the company? Or is it Paige because they're just being a little too harsh based off your position? That is a very awkward transition to her tweets that she sent out. I'm just gonna put them right here. I'm not gonna read them. All I know is one of them says, same That's the part I can remember. You know, your status in the company, where you are in a company kind of predicts, you know, if you pass or don't pass some drug tests every now and then. I'm just gonna say that was towards Brock Lesnar. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where that was going for. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Sound like she's talking about Brock Lesnar to me. So when it comes to Paige, honestly, just like, can we just let her heal so she can wrestle? Like, she makes you guys a lot of money. Like, little girls just love her. Just let her, just let her come back. I like her. You guys like her, right? 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 You all agree? And just, just let her come back. Just let the girl heal. Her mom, her dad, her brother all had stuff to say about it, all basically agreeing with Paige and what she said on Twitter. You know, what well, she might have screwed up. You know, she you signed that contract, I understand, but just let her wrestle. Just let her heal. Please. Please. Come on. Last night on Monday Night Raw 2, very important things happened. Rusev shaved his beard, which again has nothing to do with what I was gonna say, but it just looks bad. I know Mercy, two more matches were announced for Hell in a Cell, but now both of those matches have been put inside of the cell. Evan Owens and Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship, inside the cell. Already announced Roman and Rusev inside the cell. And now we got Sasha and Charlotte inside the cell. I don't honestly see how anyone can get mad at that. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this pay-per-view. Hell in a Cell is full of firsts. First time Kevin Owens is in Hell in a Cell. First time Rusev is in the Hell in a Cell. First time Charlotte, Sasha, there's, you know, kind of makes sense. First ever women's Hell in a Cell match. First time the women's championships in Hell in a Cell. First time United States championships in Hell in a Cell. First time Universal championships in the Hell in a Cell. Eight. First, to me, Hell in a Cell is kind of feeling like backlash. Just a lot of first. I'm excited to see it. But also something even bigger than that, Paul Heyman came on Monday Raw, which again, you guys probably already watched, but I'm just gonna tell you anyway. And speaking for Brock Lesnar, he challenged Goldberg for a fight anywhere, anytime, which that means Survivor Series in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Goldberg's gonna be coming back to WWE next week. I felt like they didn't make this a bigger deal than it needs to be. This is this is pretty important. Talk about Goldberg. Gold freaking Berg. You know it'd be really funny if they just brought back Ryback. John Cena, he's, he's taking some more time off. And you know, you so you can't see me. But you all know about the show American Grit, where it's basically like the show Survivor and Hole in the Wall combined with military people. And the next time he's advertised to be on WWE is November 20th. See you then. Matt Hardy wants to buy TNA. Here are two more tweets down here talking about how Matt Hardy actually wants to buy TNA. Now it could just be part of his whole character because his character is just broken brilliance. It actually sounds possible. We all know Big Money Matt, so he has a couple dollar dollar bills that he could actually buy part of the company. Billy Corgan was really open about it on the internet and so is Matt Hardy talking about if they buy TNA that they're changing the name because TNA stands for Test and Albert. Oh yeah, and boobies. And yeah, that's about the end of the video. I'm sorry, it's a slow day. It's Monday. What are you gonna do? But I do wanna say this, go over and watch my reactions to WWE No Mercy if you want because if I didn't get the majority of my WWE No Mercy predictions correct, I would have to dress up like this woman. I might just wanna go look at it. And thank you guys for watching, hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and always subscribe. That means subscribe. And we out.